My name's Thursa Graham. I'm an environmental health officer in the Housing Standards team and I work at Bradford Council. I work with landlords and tenants to improve the um, substandard quality accommodation. So I will carry out inspections of um, rented accommodation and send lists to landlords of repairs that need doing and if necessary we can take them to court. I am a registered um, environmental health officer, so I'm registered with the Chartered Institute of Environmental Health. My career aspirations are to go onto the public health side of things. I do have a Master's in Public Health. So doing the public health registration has really helped me break down the skills that, that I'm currently using within my job as a environmental health officer and give me the confidence that what I'm doing is public health and it is making a difference. I um, from going through the public health registration programme, it made me understand exactly what I was doing without realising it, looking at ethics, looking at morals, um, taking into account, um, using evidence on basing the judgments that I was making. And it's given me the confidence to go speak to other agencies such as social services, mental health, explain to them the problems that I might have and how they can help me out. I'm currently undertaking a, pro a project looking at the way that um, environmental health officers and environmental health work with hoarders. Um, when I'm talking about hoarders, I am talking about people who are hoarding items to the point that it's affecting their lifestyle, so they might not have access to kitchen facilities or bathroom facilities due to the amount of items in their property. Um, prior to doing the public health registration, I was looking at it from a very environmental health perspective, um, looking at blitz cleans and um, not really involving other agencies. Since doing the public health registration it's really broadened my horizons and opened the options of what, what other ways of dealing with the problems are out there and looking at getting other agencies involved. So some of the people that I've met on the public health registration have actually used contacts to Im improve the way that we are working with hoarders so I am looking at um, working with social services better, working with mental health services better and linking up with them so that when we are enforcing against a hoarder or somebody who's got hoarding tendencies all the agencies can get involved in setting up a hoarding panel. So I feel that working with doing the public health registration has really helped me uh, look at problems in a different way. So from um, applying to the scheme to finishing the scheme it took me around six months to complete this involved uh, quite a lot of works and roughly a peer support every every couple of months we'd have a peer support meeting with the others. Um, the peer support meetings were really helpful. Uh, we had some workshops on areas that we all struggled with, but we also um, helped each other look at how our job roles and what we did in that job fitted within each of the standards that we needed to, to meet. Uh, I struggled with the ethical side of things how my role, um, how I took ethical considerations in because I don't do any research um, or uh, I've never done a breakdown of why ethically what I would be doing had had an impact on others but actually when we broke down what I was doing, I was doing it, it just wasn't written down. So it was really useful to, to speak to others on a peer support level and, and look at what we were doing. Um, sometimes the I would work on it for one hour a week, sometimes I'd work on it for 12 or 15 hours a week just to just to get a, a submission in or to really work through. Once you've started um, looking at standards and breaking down, it's a lot easier just to keep going. If anybody else was considering doing the public health registration programme, I would tell them to do it because it will certainly, if it, it will help you look at exactly what you're doing at the moment and the skills that you've got and it will help pull out um, your strengths and your weaknesses and how you can apply what you do to other roles especially if you're looking to um, move up or promote or anything along the lines of ch changing job roles it will really help you pull out what you do and how actually you can apply that in different settings um, it's a hard it's hard to do but it, it has been worthwhile and i've really enjoyed doing it